What up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a super, super requested video that I am not going to lie to you guys. I have put off this video for so long just because I was really afraid of jinxing myself. So this is going to be my seven months post Accutane. So I was on Accutane for about six months. I know I got a lot of subscribers during that series. So probably a lot of you already know about my whole Accutane journey, what my skin used to look like before. This is what it looks like now. If you guys are new to my channel and you don't know about my Accutane journey series, um, basically I used to have horrible skin. I will post some pictures up now. I used to do tutorials on how to kind of cover acne marks and um, scars and like active acne and all of that. For the longest time, I just tried to cover up my acne and then I finally bit the bullet and went on Accutane. So again, I was on Accutane for six months. I was on 80 milligrams a day and it was a very, very intense treatment. I had a lot of side effects and what I did is every single month, I did an update where I showed you guys what my skin looked like and then I talked about the side effects that I was suffering through for that month. So I'm going to post that entire series down below. There are six updates um, that have pictures and all the details in case you guys wanna know about that. But this video is going to be seven months after finishing Accutane. And again, I was so scared to come out with it because I just did not want to jinx myself and tell you guys that everything was going good and then all of a sudden have a huge breakout. So the way that I actually wanna do this video is the same exact way that I used to do my updates back in the day. I wanna give you guys a skin update and then we're gonna talk about not, uh, I always wanted to talk, I always wanted to call them symptoms, not symptoms, the side effects that I'm dealing with long term. So we're gonna be going in that same type of format that I used to do. So if you're interested to see what my skin is like now and hear a little bit about what I'm dealing with now, then just stay tuned watching, you know what to do. I don't know if I mentioned that I have no makeup on in today's video. Uh, I think I should have mentioned that at the very beginning. In case I get any questions from you guys or any people accusing me of lying, I do have moisturizer on, I have lip balm on, and I do have my eyeliner and my eyebrows tattooed. That video will be down below in case you guys wanna find out a little bit more about that. All right, so let's jump into the skin update. The biggest question that I got from you guys is, did your skin break out after finishing Accutane? And can I tell you guys that after taking my last Accutane pill, I was so afraid that my skin was going to go back to normal the way that it was before Accutane. It was so, so bad. I would pray about it every single night before I went to sleep to God. I would just say, please let my skin stay exactly like it is. And I would get all these messages from people letting me know that, oh, your skin looks beautiful while you're on Accutane, but wait until you're done. It's gonna get even worse than it was to begin with. I heard all these horror stories, all of these people telling me that it's not really a long-term effect. And I was so afraid that about three days after finishing Accutane, I did get one pimple, one tiny little pimple like on my cheek and I remember crying so much. And my fiance was like, why are you crying over one pimple? And I would tell him, it's, it's not the fact that I'm crying over one pimple, I can deal with that because I have had like 50 pimples on my face at one time, but it was the fear. I was so afraid. I was like, I just finished my Accutane three days ago and I already have a new pimple. It's gonna come back. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do. I don't wanna go on another round. But lo and behold, it was just that one little pimple and I panicked for nothing. So I waited and I waited and I waited and I didn't do my skin update because I was like, let me see what my skin is going to do. And you guys will be so happy to know that after that one pimple, I have not even had one more pop up since. So all those horror stories that you hear that you're, I mean, this is my case. I don't wanna speak for everyone. This whole journey has been my experience with this medication. I have not had one pimple pop up since that night. So my skin has stayed absolutely beautiful. I get compliments on it all the time in person and here on camera. I don't really like take the camera or the YouTube comments to heart too much because I have studio lighting and my camera kind of has a filter on it. And I always look better on camera than I do in person. But then when somebody compliments your skin like a cashier at a random store or someone walking on the same street as you, 
um, or a doctor at a doctor's appointment. You know, like it really, it means a lot to get complimented on your skin and it's been happening a lot lately and it's the most amazing feeling ever. So yes, I have not broken out since and it's amazing for me to say not even one pimple, but I do wanna let you guys know that I was on a medication, I was on a birth control pill that I had a really, really bad reaction to and it also made me break out because it had a little bit of testosterone in it. So what it did is it broke me out, not in big cystic acne, but it broke my forehead, my forehead out in uh, what looked like braille and they were skin colored bumps. They were really hard and they were kind of pus filled, but they were really, really tiny. And when I would go like this and feel my forehead, it would literally feel like braille. So again, of course, I freaked out when that happened because I'm like, okay, now my skin is gonna go back to the way that it was before Accutane, but I stopped that birth control and the name of it, for those of you that are wondering, is Loestrin. Don't go on Loestrin. I had so many bad birth control side effects, much worse than anything that I dealt with on Accutane. I have a video on that too, so I'm gonna put the video down below on why that's the worst birth control ever. But once I stopped that birth control, all those little braille marks on my forehead did disappear within three days, and I did use a benzoyl peroxide, a 10% benzoyl peroxide that was the Up and Up Target brand, over that for about three or four nights, and it cleared everything up. So. We took care of that and we're, we're back in the good. So fast forwarding to what my skin looks like now, this is it. I am not going to say that it is flawless. I do have some light scarring. I think it's more along this side of my face. I'm not going to add any type of filter or anything because you guys know that I want you to see everything like for real, what it is. My forehead was never really a problem so I don't have any scarring there. But I do have a little bit of like red marks here and there. Again, this was always the side of my face that I used to break out on. So this is what my skin looks like now. And it's the funniest thing because now when I look in the mirror, because we always pick ourselves apart. I used to hate my skin because of my acne and the red marks and then I hated the scars. But what's pointing or what's standing out to me more now is kind of like these little freckles or dark marks, sunspots that I've gotten because I used to be so into tanning when I was a teenager. I would lay out in baby oil and put no SPF on and I have these little dark marks here. So basically what I wanna do is pick up a whitening mask. I think there's a really good one from Mario Badescu and that will help lift all these little sun marks that I have along with any red marks, any dark spots, any dark spots, any hyperpigmentation, and all those little imperfections that I'm dealing with now. But honestly, you guys, I cannot complain because I have the skin that I wanted my entire life. My pores are tiny, and people tell me this all the time. My mom especially, she just told me yesterday, she's like, Lee, your pores like basically shrank. They're like non-existent, where are they? And my skin is back to being moisturized. And yeah, it's just, it's amazing. My skin, the results, have stayed. That's the bottom line that I wanna tell you guys. The amazing results that the Accutane gave me, stayed. My skin is not broken out. I have, again, a little bit of light scarring, a little bit of dark marks, and that's it. So I'm so, so, so happy. You guys have no idea because I was so scared. People scared me so much. Don't listen to people. Now, since I get questions on my Instagram all the time about this, I will be doing an updated skincare routine, but I do want to let you guys know that I am still using the same exact moisturizer that I was using during my whole Accutane treatment, and I am using the jojoba oil still. I kind of mix them together at nighttime, and that's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I can never say that name right. The Ultra Repair Cream and the jojoba oil that I got from acne.org. I mix it up and I slather that on my face very, very generously. And I still do that every single night because you guys ask me that question all the time. And again, I will have an updated skincare routine, nighttime and uh, morning edition so you guys can see every single little step that I do. It's coming up, I promise. And last but not least, we are going to be talking about these side effects, not the symptoms, because you guys know every single time that I would do an update, I would have to correct myself. I always wanted to call them symptoms of the medication. It's not the symptoms, it's the side effects. And these are kind of the long-term side effects that even seven months in, after finishing it, that I'm still dealing with. And to be honest with you, this was another thing that people scared me about. I think so many people are afraid to go on this medication because they feel like, 
a lot of the side effects that you deal with, like the aching muscles, the aching bones, the migraines, the nosebleeds. You guys know I went through all of that, and to be honest with you, none of them suck. I'm back to normal, I don't have nosebleeds anymore, I don't have migraines, I don't have muscle pain. I don't feel, I used to feel like an old lady getting out of bed, like my bones would hurt, everything would hurt, my eyes were dry. If you wanna find out about all the side effects that I had, go back and watch that entire series, but I'm happy to let you guys know that none of them have stuck. As soon as I finished the medication, I believe it took about one month for it to get out of my system and I was back to normal. I have no more side effects, which is a great thing. You guys know that I used to complain about the chapped lips all the time. That is one of the most annoying side effects on Accutane and I want to say about four weeks after stopping the medication is when my oil production came back so my lips started being moisturized again they are back to normal by now of course and the oil production in my face came back that was also something that I was so afraid of because I'm like okay the oil is starting to come back on Accutane I was really really dry skin now I'm kind of combination skin and I'm like I'm gonna break out again I'm gonna break out I'm gonna break out I didn't my oil production came back my skin is no longer scaly or flaky or dry and it's not sensitive and red the way that it used to be. For the longest time, almost the entire time I was on Accutane, my skin was very red and kind of inflamed and very, very sensitive and that went away very quickly. And another thing that went away that I'm kind of, I am sad that it went away because it was the best thing ever, the oil production in my scalp has come back full blown and it was the most amazing thing to have no oil production out of my scalp because I felt like you know I could go two three four five six days without having to wash my hair because there was no oil production coming out of my scalp I know some people hate that side effect because they have dry hair but me I'm a very oily haired person and my hair is always limp and it gets greasy if I don't wash it every single day so I loved I love that so much that I didn't have to deal with that but oil came back and now I have to deal with washing my hair again every single day or every other day but you know what it's all right I'm just gonna deal with it the very last thing that I want to talk about is depression and this is something that I wanted to clear up because a lot of you guys know because of the low estrogen birth control pills that I went on it caused me really bad mental health problems it made it made my anxiety skyrocket it made my depression skyrocket I had horrible panic atta panic attacks I wasn't really having suicidal thoughts but I was thinking of ways that I could commit suicide and you guys know that I'm an open book here on my YouTube channel and I have a video all on that as well again I will put that one down below um, and a lot of you guys commented you're feeling like that because of the Accutane because of the Accutane because of the Accutane because it's a huge thing with Accutane a lot of people know that one of the biggest side effects is depression. The whole entire time that I was on Accutane, I had no mental health side effects. Like I was perfectly okay. I was happy. I was myself. There was no problem with that. And then seven months later, now to have that depression, it just doesn't make sense to link that back to the Accutane. I 100% know that my depression and anxiety and OCD and all those mental health problems that I had were because of the birth control that I tried about six months after Accutane. And I know that because as soon as I finished and stopped, as soon as I stopped that birth control, I was back to normal. Because I just wanted to clear that up because I had a lot of people saying, oh, you did this to yourself. Remember you were on Accutane. It causes depression. It was just like dormant in your body and now it's attacking you. You guys, no. The depression did not come from the Accutane. I want to clear that up. I had no problems while I was on the Accutane and six months after the Accutane, I did have the depression problems because of the birth control pills, not because of the Accutane. I want to make that as clear as possible. And overall, I think that this medicine is life-changing. Honestly, I know people ask me all the time, did the makers of Accutane contact you? Are you sponsored? Are you paid for any of this? No, not at all. If anything, the Accutane makers flag my videos all the time when I put Accutane in the title. I don't know why. It always gets flagged. I guess they don't want me to use their name brand, um, but I try to sneakily get around it. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. But yeah, if this is my own experience. I paid for it with my own insurance. I went to my own dermatologist. I will put his information down below. He's not sponsoring anything either. Every single time I went in, I paid for my co-payment. Um, but you know what, you guys? Honestly, it was a game changer. Life 
changing medication that was very hard for me to go through for the six months that I was on it because again the side effects were really rough on me and I just kept telling myself I hope that it's going to be worth it I hope that it's going to be worth it and it's so was and again I was afraid that when I got off of it that everything was going to come back here's a proof nothing came back you guys so don't let people scare you and also I have a lot of people writing to me saying that I've been on Accutane for two months for three months for four months and my progress is not as great as yours stick with it you guys just because my skin cleared up so fast doesn't mean that your skin is going to react in the same way you might need to go up in milligram or you may need to just have a longer uh, span than six months. Um, so that's something that you need to talk to your doctor about. I also did take it a certain way. It's better when you take it with a high fat food. So I would always take it with peanut butter. And I had a couple of tips and tricks to get the most out of the medication. But I talked about all of that during the series. And there's a lot of videos on this. So again, I'm going to link that down below. But if any of you are considering going on Accutane, personally, as a user, I say go for it. It will change your life. Honestly, don't listen to the negative stories. Don't listen to the horror stories. As far as my experience, it's been an amazing thing. And if my acne did come back, I would do a second round of it. Honestly, I would be upset because it's tough on your body and all those side effects, but I would have gone on a second round of it if need be. But I don't and I'm lucky and I'm so happy and I'm sorry you guys that it took me so long to come out with this but again I didn't want to jinx myself. I didn't want to like be on camera and be like oh my skin is so amazing and everything stuck and everything is all good and then like the next day break out and be like a pizza face again because it was bad. And I hope and pray to God that it, it never gets like that again. But I never take my clear skin for granted anymore. I don't. It's an amazing feeling and I, again, never ever take it for granted. I take great care of my skin. I still wash my face every single morning, every single night. And yeah, I baby it. I baby it. Uh, and I feel like I can talk. I, I don't want to annoy you guys. I feel like I can talk about this subject for hours and hours and hours um, because it's something that I'm so passionate about and something that truly did change my life and I feel like there's so much negative reviews out there and I'm like you know what if I would have listened to all of that I would have never tried this it was a last resort thing for me um, but it it did the trick it really worked so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know and again I will include as many helpful links as I can for you guys down below so definitely check that description box and I will see you guys in my next video and I promise in the next one I will have my makeup on. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Bye.